Have you ever wondered how a light dimmer works? It's actually done through a process called duty cycling, which means that the light is turned on and off very rapidly. When the light switch is in the dim position and the light isn't very bright, the percentage of time that the light is on is very low. As we increase the brightness of the light, it's still turning on and off very rapidly, but now the percentage of time that it's on is higher. So we start out here, we slide it up, it increases the duty cycle percentage. This dome light in this car also fades in and out using duty cycling. You'll see when the door opens that the light fades to on, and then when the door closes it dims slightly, then after a minute it fades out. So we'll record this. So we're going to connect the leads of our lab scope to this light. We've got the positive lead on one side of the light bulb, and we'll connect the negative lead to the other side of the light bulb, and we'll measure this and see what it looks like on a lab scope. Okay, so here is the waveform of the voltage that we've measured at the dome light. You can see during this time period, the light was off, the voltage was zero, and then right here, the door was opened and the light faded, it was duty cycled, as it faded to on. And during this period, it was on, 100% duty cycle, so it was just on all the time. And then right here, the door was closed and the light immediately dimmed. And then a few seconds later, it began to fade out and then was off at this point right here. So let's zoom in and take a look at it. I'll zoom in horizontally. I want to zoom in about 5,000 times here. And move this back over to the this point. You can, so you can see over here is it duty cycled on, and at this point it is on, 12 volts, it's on all of the time. And over here it started to duty cycle again. And by duty cycling we mean it switched on and off. So it's off and then it's on. So when it's up here high near 12 volts, it's on. And to figure out what the duty cycle is, I'll pull out these rulers over here. And that is one cycle from that point here to this point. We want to find out during this cycle what percentage of this cycle it was on for. And just by eyeballing it, we're going to say uh, maybe about 60% of the time right there. But to find out, we're going to come down here to the ruler settings and change this to percent. You'll notice that it switched to it's automatically 200% in the picoscope. And uh, this is 100% of, of a cycle, so I'm going to move this over so that it includes two cycles so that my percentage is accurate. I'll grab this ruler over here and drag it out to this point. So now I'm measuring the on time. And up here it tells me that it was 60.43%, so very close to what we guessed a minute ago. And then later, as the light is fading out, we suspect that this, this time will decrease. Now I want you to notice though that the actual width of the cycle from this point to this point doesn't change. So the frequency of these pulses stays the same, it's just that the width of the pulse decreases as it fades. So let's move let's move out here to a point like this where the light is fading. We'll move our rulers over here again. Actually I'll just I'm going to turn them all off and reset them here. So we'll set one ruler there. When we were there, representing two cycles, and pull this ruler out here to measure the percentage of one cycle that it was on for, and now it's saying it's 13.35%. You can see that the duty cycle is decreasing. So now, let's get rid of the rulers here, and I want to just take you through this. Let's go through this in slow motion. So we'll start right here, and I'll, I'll just click to drag this across the screen, but as I do this, you'll see kind of in slow motion what the computer was doing to the light. Ready, here we go. So it's off, oh, it, you notice the duty cycle increases as it fades on and it's completely on now. So it stays on for several seconds. And in just a minute, we'll close the door and we'll see it dim by starting to duty cycle it again. And at some point it will start to decrease. Oh, there it goes. It dimmed a little bit. It's running at 60% duty cycle. 
Now, if we watch, that duty cycle is beginning to shrink. It's about 50%, 30%, 10%, and off. So I thought that was kind of neat, a neat way to see how duty cycling works and how it's used to control the brightness of a light. It can be used to control all kinds of actuators or electrical devices, but computers can only turn things on and off. So that's the way that a computer controls the speed of a motor or the brightness of a light or any other actuator.